What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise News, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where the Acura Integra is making a comeback next year, two decades after the Japanese brand killed it off in 2001 to replace it in North America with the RSX from 2002 to 2006, though that car was sold as the Honda Integra everywhere else. Well, Acura preview today, the new Integra prototype pictured here, which is just like any other prototype model from the marquee or its parent company, Honda. It's pretty much a pre-production version of the sports compact model that we'll see arriving in dealerships in 2022 next year. Now, Acura released a handful of teasers of the new Integra in the lead up to its unveiling tonight. And as you would expect, it has a similar design to the T TLX, although it's slightly smaller being based on the last Honda Civic. Now the front fascia of the car features a striking jewel eye LED headlight with distinctive chicane LED daytime running lights. Now a subtle Integra script has also been embossed into the bodywork below the driver's side headlight and the Integra prototype also has a gloss black grille, a black lower grille, and round fog lights. Now adorning the exterior of the car is a bright shade of yellow borrowed from the current Acura NSX and also reminiscent of the yellow used by the iconic DC2 generation Integra Type R, dubbed Indy Yellow. Now Acura has also equipped the Civic base model with a matte finish 19 inch split five spoke wheel with Brembo high performance brakes and Indy Yellow calipers. Now a number of Berliner black accents are also found across the exterior, including the roof, deck lid spoiler, wing mirror caps, rear diffuser, and front grille. And found at the rear of the Integra prototype is a sloping roof line and sharp taillights. Now as for the important powertrain, Acura has confirmed the Integra is fitted with a 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine, presumably lifted out of the Civic Si. Now it hasn't been said how much grunt the Integra will have, but it is possible that it's the same 200 horsepower, 192 pound feet, 260 newton meters as the Civic Si. And coupled to this engine is a six speed manual transmission with drive sent to the front wheels courtesy of a limited slip differential. And Acura says its latest generation Integra will be priced around $30,000 and it will be built exclusively at the company's Maysville Auto Plant in Ohio on the same production line as the TLX. And with the production version arriving in mid-2022 next year, we will hopefully see the 2023 production variant very soon. So with that said, what are your first impressions of the Acura Integra? The Integra is back. Let me know what you think about this 1.5 liter 6-speed manual Civic Si powered Integra. And with that said, if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Giving the video a like will help get it up in the rankings. More people can see it. And we can have a bigger discussion on the 2023 Acura Integra prototype review. Now with that said, if you guys want to help further support the channel, always check the links down below. I have a one-time link donation from my PayPal, my Cash App, and my Venmo. Just in case you guys want to donate a dollar or two to the channel, appreciate the love and support. Now you guys can also check out the Ryan's Rides merch in case you guys want long sleeve shirts, you want hoodies, coffee mugs, pillows, leggings, everything Ryan's Rides. Now I'm also on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. See everything I'm posting, car memes, pictures, and videos that doesn't always make it here to the channel. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click the notification bell so you don't miss one news video. With that said, you guys be blessed, have a great day, and we will talk to you guys in the next Ryan's Rides news video. Peace.